Okay, so here I am at Woodman's at like, I think it's like 3.37, 3.38 in the morning. Um, I promised to do a video, so here it is. This is the grocery store outside. You can see it's pretty big, so let's head on inside here. Not sure if these doors are all open. No, not this hour of the night. It's a 24 hour grocery store here. Doing some kind of construction. I'm trying to film the person in front of me because it's got a roof. I got off work a little early. I was thinking overtime and they asked if I could see. So here's the vending area. Let's see if I can find a card. I've only been here like twice since I came back. Do a quick run through the store here. So there's the. Uh, I think you're getting an idea of the sheer size here. Run through produce. This is. Yeah, I'll just run through the store and then I'll do my actual shopping here. I've actually just come for some, uh, what is it, salad dressing? Like Miracle Whip type stuff. Because they have their own brand and it's like fantastic. Okay. And this back here, like in the 90s, was like a video store. This used to rent videotapes. Get some of the employees here. So there's their floral area. And then we're getting into the actual store. Let's get a nice shot down that aisle. See, that's what the aisle looks like. So we've got bakery and stuff over here. More bread over here. And that's all their cakes and stuff and freezer section, refrigerator section. So yeah, if you like, like grocery stores, you'd love this. Alright, so. Here that gives you an idea again down there of the aisle. This is meat and cheese. This is constant, so there's a lot of sausage, a lot of cheese. Alright, need a GoPro camera here. I'm walking around with my camera here. So this, yeah, this is just the perimeter of the store. You can probably get your 10,000 steps in the, the grocery store here. There's the seafood in that whole area. Got a whole section of just burritos. There's chicken over this whole wall here. Stir fry kit. Alright. Oh, yogurt. The emporium of yogurt. This whole area is just yogurt. 
the aisle next aisle over is like cottage cheeses and sour creams and stuff about the same size section There's the Wisconsin cheese. I mean, it all used to be Wisconsin cheese, but now there's a lot of stuff from just like major manufacturers. Yeah, you know, this is like kefir and silk and things. People that don't drink normal milk. There's all the salsa and dip area. Got a whole section of just coffee creamers. And they got a cart going there, so I won't go down there for those juices. visiting the coffee creamers and the ricotta cheese. I'm not trying to find this real person. So we're getting that kind of... See an idea of this. Okay, now get the refrigerator bread, a piece of bread. Frozen pizzas and meals. This is like pies and ice cream over there. More pizzas here because we gotta have our pizzas with our cheese. Get some of that. Oh, that looks cheesy. Okay. We got this dude here having a sale. Kind of creepy actually. Got some more ice cream going here. We got about four hours of ice cream. There's our soda pop. They have their own, it's a Wisconsin brand. I'll go ahead and go over here. I think it's down this aisle. It used to be like budget pop. Oh, they have weird floors here. So you're probably hearing all that. But yeah, it used to be like a sub-brand type thing that's really cheap. It's um, jolly good soda. It's now actually kind of a decent price now. Rick probably remembers jolly good. I'm in the middle of the night here, so we're stocking, I guess. I picked up a box. Let me, let me get rid of my companion. There we go. All right, so we have a bottle of water. About 12 different ways. It's, this is just stuff to add to your water. This is the checkout area. You could be stocking here, like, what is she doing? Dang YouTubers, right? Alright, this is our energy drink area. I'm gonna head into the middle aisle. But you can actually get lost in here and start weeping. I mean, it's just it's that big. Here's a natural pizza. All right, so this is, these are the aisles. Obviously, we're not going down all of them, but I will take a run through. Dog food this way. We got litter and assorted goods this way. Two aisles of just cat litter. More dog stuff. This is all your cleaning goodies. Like dish soap, laundry soap. This is like the gardening stuff. They actually have a garden center type thing, but there's just a whole aisle of charcoal. This is all your mops. This is coffee and hot cocoa teas and whatever. And this is like lotions and stuff. Then we got mouthwash and all that stuff. Spices. This is baking. This is soap, shampoo. And I have shampoo and hair accessories. 
and this is like German foods, Polish foods, ramen noodles, Indian foods, aloe drinks, and Vosian Asian foods. And this is cosmetics. And this is um, salsa, imported foods, Mexican foods, Hispanic foods, I'm not sure the difference is. All right, natural products for cleaning and whatnot. This is just gravy and soups and stuff. And it's personal, so I'm trying not to repeat them. This is vitamins. I care and little things. And then we have pop tarts, multi meal, fruit snacks, cereal. Okay, more cereal. I don't know what this is. It's pregnancy kits and feminine hygiene. There we go. First aid and adult incontinence. Um, this is just pasta and spaghetti sauce and stuff. This is stationery and tape, the usual stuff grocery stores have. Now in the magazine and book area, looks like it's not very well stocked today. And this is like canned vegetables, rice, rice around and all that stuff. Juice and oh wow, a lot of tomato juice. Wow. Okay, cards. More cards. Okay, this is your condiment aisle. And this is crackers, saltines, like popcorn, that kind of stuff. And these are just nuts and other snacks like that, like beef jerky, I think. And now we got trash bags, paper towels, and stuff. And we got some gum and mints and candy. Got paper towels over here. Got licorice and other more candy. Oh, it's, ooh, it's got a big sign for candy. All right, then we got the diapers and baby food stuff. And then we got more candy. Including sugar candy. And then we got a little candy island here. And we're back at the bakery if you're able to orient yourself at all with all that. They have a good bakery here. A lot of German stuff too. Oh, and here's the infamous Kringles and stuff. So I know you were talking about those that one time. So that's Woodman's. Um, I used to come here all the time when I worked in theater here. It's uh, huge. Like I said, you can actually get lost. I used to know my way around in here. I think I need a road map at this point, but uh, Hope you enjoy the video and when you come visit you'll have to come grocery shopping with me all right all right thank you